friends, it's Miss Sebastian again in her studio. I'm so glad you've joined me for another learning adventure. Today, we have a very special holiday we wanna celebrate, and that's going to be Veterans Day. That is a day that we wanna honor everyone who has served or is currently serving in our military. We need to give them our wholehearted thanks for the service that they provide our nation in protecting you and me and everyone's rights and freedoms. So in honor of this holiday, we are gonna be creating a card to present to a veteran that we may know. And if you don't know a veteran, I bet you could mail it off to one of our military bases that are nearby and a veteran would happily receive your wonderful art and message. Stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll hear an interesting fact about Veterans Day. All right, let's first learn a little bit more about it and then we'll start to make our project. We have a special holiday that honors the men and women who are brave, courageous, and patriotic, who also served in the branches of the military. Do you know the name of this holiday? It's Veterans Day. During the presentation, Students will be able to define what a veteran and patriotic means, identify the six major branches of our military, understand why we celebrate Veterans Day, and then we're gonna create an original card for a veteran. So who are veterans? Veterans are people who are currently serving or who have served in the military, whether that be the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, or Space Force in times of war or peace. Do you know a veteran? Maybe it's your father, mother, sister, brother, uncle, grandfather. Maybe it's your next door neighbor. We are living in a community full of veterans and we are the luckiest people in the world. What does it mean to be patriotic? Being patriotic means having a love of your country. Many Americans are brave, courageous, and patriotic, and they also serve in our military. So we have six branches of the military, Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and Air Force. The Air Force carries out our operations in the air, spy missions, air support, and air combat. Their special exhibition flying team is called the Thunderbirds. The Navy is known for their operations at sea, and the Blue Angels. Sailors serve on submarines, aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and their divers go deep underwater to repair ships. The Coast Guard protects America's 300 ports, coastlines, and waterways. They are mainly concerned with national security. The Marines carry out our missions in land, sea, and air. Their slogan is first to fight. And then the Army is the largest group of armed forces best known for fighting on the ground. Lastly, our newest group of armed forces is Space Force. They maintain service and expand space satellites. So why do we celebrate Veterans Day? Well, veterans put their lives on the line to guarantee the freedoms we enjoy today. They did not run from battle, yield to fear, or abandon their cause. Because of their service to our country, we owe them our full support and thanks. Your goal today is going to be to create a card thanking a veteran for their service to our nation. Let's go ahead and get to the demo. Things that you'll need for this lesson includes a white piece of paper. You'll need some scissors, a pencil, a ruler. To add color to our card, you could either use markers or you could even use construction paper. I have blue and red for mine. Don't forget your imagination and some good writing skills to for your note writing on the inside. For our first step today, we're gonna fold our paper in half and we're gonna draw one half of a heart. And when we do this, we wanna make sure that the curve is on the open side 
and that the middle of the heart is going to be on the crease area. So I'm just going to lightly draw this so it fits it nicely as best I can. I can always come back and change that. Maybe I want it to be a little more like that. All right, then your next step is going to be to cut it out. All right, we're just gonna cut it out now. All right, then when I open it up, I've got a great heart there. Now, if you're going to use your markers to color this in, you'll want to make sure that you have a section that's like this. You're gonna set aside for stars. And by the way, if you're gonna draw your own stars and color around them, a great and easy way to do stars is a capital letter A, but make the line too long going across it. And then all you need is an X. So we're gonna go ahead and do the X to connect up those two. And that always gives us a really good looking star. Now, do you need to make a star for every state on this card? No, I think for this project, a symbolic few stars will be just great. In fact, you might even use some of your scrap paper and make one big star and you could glue it onto the construction paper if that's what you want. If you're using the construction paper though, what you're gonna wanna do is this. You're gonna want to line up that construction paper so that it falls in line with the line that we drew lightly here. And I'm gonna need to trace around the outside of the heart. So the construction paper is lined up here and it's lined up down here. And then I would need to just cut out that part. And you can see here that part can be glued down right here. All right, for our next step, um, before I glue anything down, I'm actually going to make my stars on it first. Um, some to, when you have very wet paper and there's glue underneath it, you would have to wait for it to dry completely before you could probably write on it or draw on it or it may tear. And the other thing is, is it may be bumpy and lumpy from where the glue was underneath it and it will make it extra hard to color on it. So I always do my coloring first. And again, you know, I don't have to do every star. I think as long as I have some representative stars on there, people get the point that it's supposed to be representing our American flag. All right, so I've got some stars now. I know that's gonna go there. So um, the stripes. So, you know, I really feel kind of strongly about the stripes maybe being having the 13 for the original colonies. So that's what I'm gonna use my ruler for next. So I know I need from here all the way down to here, I need to make sure that I have um, room for 13. So I'm gonna draw 12 lines for that. Uh, the stripes always start off with red and ends on a red. So that's why we need to have an odd number two for that. Um, so I need to divide my area up here. So I'm going to use the centimeter side. And I see here that I have about 21. If I draw an invisible dashed line over here, I have 21. And I know I need to fit 13 in there. So if we do a little bit of math where I do uh, 13 times two, that'll give me 26. So I don't have quite 26 here to go on. So I know I've got to make them a little bit smaller than two. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with one and a half or so, and I can just very lightly, every one and a half centimeters, I'm gonna go down and see if that'll get what I need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I probably need to bring this down. 
bring it over here so it's approximately the same here. 10, 11, and then 12. And that gives me that my 13th space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, because the 13th one will be that little space down there at the bottom. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw as straight as I can, just going across. But then I gotta go all the way across here too. Normally when I wanna make lines really straight, I would measure another dot and then line up the two, but because this is a weird shape, it would have been difficult to do that. So I think it looks great just the way it is. So if I was doing uh, construction paper for this, I would probably measure out stripes and I would lay the paper um, under it so then I know exactly where to cut out for it. I would line up the construction paper under here. And again, you would be tracing out only the red stripes. So I might only trace there. And then I'm going to trace here. And when you lift these up, you'll have these spaces that are here and you can just go straight across. And that'll give you the right shape to fit in that area. Just like so. I've decided to do a combo style here. I'm going to do partial marker and partial construction paper. All right, so before I glue on this part here, I'm going to fold my card in half and I'm gonna write my message on the inside for the veteran that you may know. So uh, you can write Happy Veterans Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in, I think. If you wanna first write it in pencil to make sure everything looks good, that is fine. You are welcome to do that. Normally for our Veterans Day, we do not have an apostrophe S there. And now I have the opportunity to write a, spe a special message to a veteran that I know. You know, you could start off the letter with the word dear. That is usually our salutation. And then um, you could address it to whoever's the two. So if I wanna address it to my mom or dad, I certainly can, dear mom. And then we wanna think about ways that we can honor them in this card. So um, I- I'm not sure saying I. And then we wanna do a closing. And so I'm just gonna, again, express my thanks by doing thanks and then I'm gonna sign my name. You can, if you know cursive, you can do your name in cursive or you could just print it. I could add additional things on the front. And when you feel like you're all done doing these things, you can go ahead and close it up. I'm gonna do a few fireworks. That's how I like to do fireworks.
Then I can open, flip it over, and I can go ahead and put some glue. Not too much. When we do glue, we always want to make sure that the tip of the bottle touches the paper as you squeeze. That will help to control how much glue you need because you don't need much glue to make paper stay. If you're gonna present it closed, you could even write a message here, like who it's for. And then they can open it and admire both the front and the back. All right, I hope you enjoy uh, making the Veterans Day card with me. It is definitely uh, something that I think about and appreciate their sacrifice and service to our country daily. It is such an important job and we need to show our appreciation for our veterans. Oh, I know that whoever gets your card, they are going to appreciate it. Thank you so much for showing that thankfulness to someone who definitely deserves it. All right, so for your interesting fact, in 1968, there was a law passed that changed our November 11th date to celebrate Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October. It took until 1975 for President Ford to change it back. All right, remember, as always, be nice to everyone you meet. Maybe do something good for somebody today. Maybe do an extra chore that isn't yours. And remember, always keep on making great art.